Co got. Coach, tough scrimmage on Saturday, two days yesterday. Uh, how was the bounce back today? Well, we didn't go last night. We ended up just walking through. We'll save that practice for Sunday with the rain and everything. We just uh, we walked through, but it's been fine. Well, the guys start to school, so that's a, uh, extra things for them. Where would you say you are right now? We're fine. forward. I mean, I thought we ended last week on a real high. I really did. I thought the end of the week, you know, I, I think we've started this next week. I think there's a lot of distractions. I think we've let the scrimmages over. Hey, you get complimented. Everybody likes to get stroked. And then all of a sudden everything's, you know, just a little bit different. Hey, school, there's students here. I got to get my books. It's just things that we're eating at a different spot. It's just... How do I handle different things that happen around me and still stay focused? You're right. It's only going to get a little bit more difficult for guys that don't do a great job of managing their time. Okay, all of a sudden now I've got class and I've got study hall and I've got to study. I've got to start the semester right. And I've got to hydrate. And I've got to eat and sleep and remind myself because coaches aren't going to be there all day. You know, when we're around them all day, it's one thing to every minute saying hydrate, eat, sleep, do it the right way. When you're not around them all day now, hey, it falls back on them to manage their time and be able to still come out and be able to be at their best every practice day. How do you think the transfers have adjusted to the seasons? They're fine. I mean, they've been fine. Now we're going to see because we've got, you know, some junior college guys and we also got the four-year guys, so we'll see. We'll see how they adjust. They'll be fine. I mean, I don't I don't see that being an issue, but uh, we got to do a great job of them understanding time management. And our coaches got to do a great job of making sure that uh, they're there. And we continue to work and make sure we continue to do the things we need to do to, not, to be great student athletes, be great students, and be great football players. How do you think they have adjusted to your coaching side? What's that? How do you think they have adjusted to your coaching side? Oh, I have no idea. I, I haven't had to sit down and talk to them about how they've adjusted my coaching style. I, don't, I think i got a pretty sweet coaching style. <laughs> if you're going to evaluate myself, I, I think they need to adjust to that. I, we've treated them great. They ought to feel good about another opportunity uh, from where they came. And they ought to feel great about being at, at, at this place because this is a special place. And um, they get a chance to, to do something special here. So they ought to be pretty darn excited about what they've got in front of them. Many, I'm excited to have them. So. How many of those guys do you expect to start? I don't know how many will start till all play, though. It'd be foolish if they didn't play for us. To use an initial scholarship and not have them play, that'd be, that'd be foolish. So hopefully we did our, just like with junior college guys, they need to be able to play for you. They need to be able to play right now. Um, otherwise, you made a mistake because you don't. You don't. You're taking guys, not always to develop them when, when they're junior college guys or four-year transfers. So we anticipate all of them playing. Coach, uh, when you look at uh, where we're at, where you're at right now during camp, are you as far along as you anticipate to be, or, would, or as you would like to be? Uh, I would have said that Saturday. I didn't. I didn't feel that the last couple of days. I mean, I, I. I like our team. I really do. I like our guys. We got the right kind of guys. They work awfully hard. At doing the right things. Now we just got to have an edge. You know, we want to be good on offense. It starts with our O-line and our quarterbacks leading us. And that, that's where it's going to start and that's where it's going to end. And uh, when those guys come to practice, we're really good on offense. When they don't, we're not. That's just the way. That's everywhere I've been. So those guys have to make a decision every day to come out here and get after it and play with a little bit of an edge. Now that you start prep for uh, what's the problem? Uh, we're not prepping yet for them. We still got a lot of work to do for us. We'll get through this week. We still have two weeks after that. And then we'll start to phase in prep for a week, and then we'll be wholesale the last week. But we have a lot more work to do on us, how we do it, making sure that everything systematically we're aligned, uh, we know our assignments, and we'll play hard. And we'll be disciplined in what we do. That, that's, that's what it's all about. It's all about you knowing first what you do, and bringing the energy, playing with an edge. What does the helmet stand for? Are we going to be a physical football team? Are we going to play with a chip on our shoulders? And are we going to play with the kind of edge that we're capable of? I've seen it. I've seen it. Now we just got to do it every day. Is that edge at the top of your priority list? With the Without question. Me? Yep. We got to be able to find that way to play with. We always talk about energy, attitude, but play with an edge. Play with an edge. And that starts. You build that every day. You don't just show up and have an edge. Guys that have a little bit of an edge you see every day out there, and they, they bring it, and then you do it one day, then you do it the next day, and then it just becomes who you are. That's what you are. That is your mantra. Okay, That's that's what we need our guys to be able to do. I know you've probably answered this before, but what made you decide to bring in so many of the junior college and transfer guys, older guys? One, we had scholarships. Two, we needed older guys. Three, we needed more talent. 
this a one year deal or can you do this again? Or? I have no idea. Okay. I have no idea what our roster will look like next year. I didn't know some of the things that would happen in the off season that forced our hand a little bit. Um, you know, so bottom line is, is your roster, it, 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 let's not kid ourselves. This, this, this is a profession that's year to year, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, we need to win. That's why what we're paid to do is figure out a way to win. So our job is to recruit the best student athletes we can to give us the chance to win, irrespective of two years from now, three years from now, four years from now, it's right now. Anything else? Coach, thank you.